What's good, everyone? It's your boy Jozo. Welcome back to another NBA 2K16 video. Today, I'm not going to be going over the gameplay. I'm going to be talking about a topic that came up earlier today, which is the De Derrick Rose to New York trade. And one word that I would describe that trade was just plainly stupid, man. Like, I don't get what Gar, For Gar Foreman and John Paxson were doing. Like, they don't have enough trust in D Rose or something, but like the thing is like no one in my opinion, like no one else in the like Chicago Bulls era of like the franchise had a much bigger impact than anyone else. I mean, besides Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan was the number one, to be honest. Like when he came back out of his quote unquote retirement, everyone went crazy, like he everyone had that emotional toll on him but when he went to the wizards everyone had an emotional toll on him too and was pretty upset and that's basically what happens with Derrick Rose like everyone the Chicago fans love him like he's from Chicago he's our MVP he's like from our hometown like me myself I'm a Chicago fan I'm from Chicago like just seeing him gone and like the things he did for us in the past, like change after drafting him, he just changed our team completely and what brought us to like the Eastern Conference Finals and stuff. He made our team from trash to better. Like he was the definition of rebuilding, man. He like our no offense to the players that were like on our team when Derrick Rose was still young, but they weren't as good until Derrick Rose came and he like he was our MVP he was a star player like to, in my opinion he's supposed to be the face of the franchise for Chicago like I mean people can argue that Jimmy Butler is the face of Chicago but he's it's just different since he's not from Chicago like you know what I'm saying like if your hometown like let's say LeBron for example him leaving like basically got many people upset in Cleveland from burning jerseys and stuff like getting rid of lebron james's merchandise like people had an emotional toll on him and like another example like let's say you like that kobe injury for the achilles like let's say he got that injury from the achilles and left like he was traded to another team the lakers fan would lakers fans would be upset with kobe and the organization well not really i'm not ups upset with derrick rose it wasn't his decision but i'm just upset with the bulls organization in general the front office gara foreman john paxton even fred hoiberg like i didn't see him try to incorporate derrick rose in, in any place like come on man we have derrick rose for a reason but here, I'm just going to go over the trade details because many of you might seem like, who did we get and who did we give? So we obviously gave Derrick Rose. We also gave Justin Holiday a very good, in my opinion, he was a good shooter for Chicago. He's very, very athletic and he can run the floor. And I had so much trust in him and I thought he was actually a good player. And we also gave up a second round pick. And what the Knicks gave us was Jose Calderon. Robin Lopez and Jerry and Grant and like the second round pick that Chicago gave us should have been like from the New York Knicks the Knicks should have gave us a pick instead of us like and the thing that surprises me most is that the Bulls offered that trade like they proposed that trade not the Knicks and that just like awes me man like I can't believe the Bulls just offered that up like they don't have trust in like their star player like I know Jimmy is basically he in my opinion he's the best player on Chicago in the on the Bulls don't get me wrong but Derrick Rose is like he might not be like the most talented person on the Bulls but it's just like what I said uh earlier he he had an impact on Chicago and the fans like I've been to a Bulls games met like more than like one time but 
Every, and every time they call Derrick Rose names last, and when they say from Chicago, like fans go wild. Yeah, they go wild for Jimmy Butler, Nicola, and Pau Gasol, but it's not as like hype as Derrick Rose's chance. It's just it just awes me, man. Like every time, like he's the last person that gets introduced. And he's the last. He's the first person to like get the the crowd hyped up. People like people all over the world have his merchandise, and like companies have like pizzas of him. Like I know a Chicago restaurant that has like their own pizza from of Derrick Rose. Like it's named after Derrick Rose. Do you see some that's named after Jimmy Butler? Not necess like not as common, but it's it kind of just hurts like most businesses um uh financially yeah it just hurts most businesses financially and like many people like have the jerseys and wanted to keep them for the rest of their life assuming that Derrick Rose was gonna stay in the Bulls for like the rest of his franchise like I thought he was a franchise player like Kobe Bryant I thought he was just gonna stay on one team and one team only but I guess that wasn't the case, and freaking the Bulls front office didn't have enough trust on him. But now I want to go over how, like, the trade went down. Basically, we gave, the Knicks gave us three bench players for a starter and a pretty decent bench player. Like, I don't know. That at least gave us a starter, man. Like... I, re I remember in an interview that Gary Foreman wanted to get more athletic, wanted to get more younger, wanted to, like, match Fred Hoiberg's play style. But that's what the trade just... That trade just gave us the opposite. Like, that interview was right after the trade, and he was talking about him. He, but that that when he said more athletic, more younger, he mostly meant Jerry and Grant. And Jerry and Grant, don't get me wrong, he's a very good player. In my opinion, he's a very good, versatile point guard that can go up the court. But he, with Jose Calderon and Robin Lopez, they don't really match Fred Hoiberg's offense. In my opinion, I didn't like the signing of Fred, Ho Fred Hoiberg. We should have kept Tom Thibodeau. And then... Once Fred Hoiberg came, everything just went down for Chicago. We were doing actually pretty good. We went to the Eastern Conference Finals and we went versus the Cavs. No, we went from the second round and versus the Cavs. And we put one hell of a fight. Especially that game winner from Derrick Rose. Like, that's one of my best Chicago memories, man. The game, all the game winners, winners. like, I know so much. The, from, the one in Milwaukee. The one from, like, in Chicago that's, like, against Cleveland. I know so much, man. I even remember the half-court shot he made against the Wizards. That's how much I know Derrick Rose. And now that, like, all the memories are just a, a part of the past. Like, you can't bring them anymore to the future. Like, Derrick Rose is, like, I don't know. He's just gone in, in my memories now. Like, I have jerseys of him like every like accessories of them but like they don't even go to use anymore so yeah in my opinion the Knicks won that trade congrats to them and best of luck to D Rose with the Knicks and yeah if you guys enjoyed the video give it a real big thumbs up and if you want to see more of these type of videos where I talk about NBA topics then show me that love so yeah peace out